And that's um, another thing we should talk about because another thing that's happening online is that I've I've detected this recently is that the online environment is also making everyone acutely paranoid. And I think the reason for that is that everyone it, it it's easy for our thinking to go to to go astray. And as we talked about earlier in this discussion, other people tap you back into shape. And you're you're surrounded by a kind of random assortment of other people in the real world because you didn't select them. So because it's random, it's it provides you with what is in essence relatively unbiased feedback information. But online you can choose your your compatriots and it's likely to be the case that at your weakest point psychologically you choose the least demanding compatriots and so your craziest ideas are the least likely to be challenged all right so there's so many interesting threads here w one of them I, I my guess is you and i will fall out in the same place here but if you give me a choice between a community that uh believes everything i believe and one in which people believe very different things i'm not going to choose the one in which people believe the things i believe because for one thing it's the end of growth and oh, it's deathly okay. boring. i want to object slightly okay i've had and you've had this experience too i've had the experience of being in an environment where a very large number of people don't agree with me vociferously and what I would say is a little of that goes a long way. Even if you're a courageous thinker, and I'm not going to put myself in that category, but if even, even if you're someone who wants to be able to tolerate dissent, there's a limited amount of dissent that you actually can tolerate. You are going to seek out an environment where most people agree with you, but some people don't some of the time. And it's kind of like listening to music. You'll like music that's optimally different from what you are enjoying right now, right? If it's exactly the same, it's boring. If it's too different, you can't hear it. There's, a, there's, a, there's an amount of novelty that you can tolerate, but it's not that large. And so even people who have been trained to look for evidence that disproves their own theories, they're only going to be able to tolerate a tiny bit of that at a time. It's too destabilizing. It's too destabilizing. 